All Might, My Hero Academia's Standard of Power and Symbol of Peace. The S-Class, the One Punch Man verse, Symbols of Power, the strongest heroes in the world. What would happen if All Might was on the One Punch Man world? Could he become an S-Class himself? Where would he be ranked? Could he defeat a demon level monster or even a dragon level one? That's what we will be discussing today here on the Fictional Matrix. We interrupt this program to tell you to subscribe to the Fictional Matrix. Now, onto the regular scheduled program. When it comes to the S class, there are some big differences in power within the group. You got your quote unquote father S class, like Zombie Man, a guy who heavily struggled to beat a demon level threat. And in terms of power, isn't all that. You also have on the other side of the spectrum people way beyond everybody else, like Tatsumaki, who can solo dragon level beings and even fight an above dragon level monster in Tsairoshi, who scales to multi continental to small planetary levels of power. Within these two absurd levels of power, the, the distance, because this is ridiculous, you have where most S class actually scale, which is on those Iceland to country levels of power. A tier that includes people such as Puri Puri Prisoner, Tyrant Top Master, Child Emperor, Atomic Samurai, with the strongest amongst these group being probably those on the large country to continental levels of power like Dark Shine, Bang, Metal Bat when pumped up, Flashy Flash, and Genos. These last five um, have feats putting them solidly above dragon level monsters, having them beat these catastrophe level beings and clash with some of the strongest monsters in the verse. Like how Bang and Darkshine were able to match a pre-awakened Garu, Bang was also able to handle both Fewer Ugly and Guns at the same time one after the other. Flashy Flash was capable of soloing two dragon level beings at once. He was also able to fight briefly against Awakened Garu and Platinus. Metal Bat was also capable of assisting Garu and amping each other to defeat Sage Centipede. And obviously we can't forget Genos, who was capable of matching some of Sairochi's casual blast. Probably the second or, pro or the third strongest monster in the series, behind Cosmic Fear Garu and Boros. For the speed category, I would start with the S-Class first. The baseline feat for the S-Class comes from a much weaker Genos, who was able to dodge lasers, beams of light, in a fight against G4. This same Genos was shown to be much slower than a monster called Awakened Cockroach, who stated even light speed attacks wouldn't even reach him. This same Awakened Cockroach was easily listed by a casual Monster King Orochi, who, like I previously mentioned, would get much stronger and fight both Genos and Tatsumaki, making both heroes scale several layers beyond the speed of light. In terms of speed, we could also talk about Flashy Flash, who in a fight with Platinum S and Awakened Garu was able to move so fast that they seemed to be creating some sort of light construct resembling a constellation. This feat uh, has been calculated to be around 4 times the speed of light, which seems impressive but is a bit of a low ball compared to the scaling presented before. Now all that said, where would All Might, the symbol of peace, scale in this verse? In terms of strength, All Might has many feats in this series showcasing his incredible might, might powerful enough to level cities and mountains. For example, the time he completely changed the weather with a mere punch in a weakened state, I might add. Such a feat has been calculated to mountain ranges of power. There is also a feat where he, with but a portion of his power, leveled a portion of his city while holding back as to not injure Deku or Bakugo beyond what he needed to. There is also the famous United States of Smash, a feat done in All Might's weakest state today, where even here he is also capable of exerting 
mountain levels power. And if we use the classic All Might being 60 plus times stronger in his prime than any feat shown in the present My Hero Academia, then you can get those numbers that put the hypothetical All Might on those Iceland to country levels of power. Hell, we can even scale All Might to a badly beat up Deku who alongside Bakugo had a debatable small Iceland level feat with um, a double Detroit smash. In terms of speed, All Might scales above every single character we've seen in the entire series so far. With some of these casual speed feats um, showcasing him like tossing an entire building, moving so fast in the time it took to fall he cleared the, the space needed for the building to land and then put it in its place. Like that's ridiculous. And we, he also has various feats throughout the entire of My Hero Academia where he also says that every single feat was done with his 20% and is still above characters like 13 who can react and suck Aoyama's laser made of light. There's also 15% Deku being able to dodge um, Nine's lasers, yet another light speed reaction feat. And we can't forget probably the fastest non one for all user in Meteor, whose quantum tunneling allow him to basically move sort of like teleporting at a speed of light, which again would add to All Might scaling, making him faster than someone who can move and teleport at the speed of light. This is shown in how Deku at 100% 100 was able to surpass Mirio, who at the time was yet to catch up to All Might's true power. This would suddenly put All Might at those faster than light speed tiers of speed. All of this said, I think we answered our first question, and All Might can definitely enter the S class with flying colors. The real question would be, where would he be ranked? From the feats provided and the scaling shown up to date, All Might would suddenly be around those mid levels of the S class heroes capable of handling demon level threats on their own with moderate difficulty. Now, could he take on a dragon level monster on his own? It would really depend on which dragon level monster we are talking about. As with all the scaling provided, All Might, or this hypothetical Prime All Might, would be around those or close enough to those Dark Shine levels of power. With better maneuverability, versatility, and experience than most of the heroes close to his level. So, to conclude, he would definitely be above people like Tank Top Master or Puri Puri Prisoner, but it will probably go either way when it comes to Dark Shine and those like upper tier S class heroes. So, hope you all enjoy this video and give it a like and subscribe to my channel, The Fictional Matrix. More dope content coming, please help me get to the 1k subs, it would be much appreciated. Have a great day, God bless you all, and see you on the next video on The Fictional Matrix.